what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to get your start menu to look like it did in Windows 10 completely for free on Windows 11. It's super simple and easy to do. And of course, best of all, completely free. In the description down below, you'll find an open source project called Explorer Patcher ValleyNet. This program's really cool, completely open source. So if you don't trust it, you're able to read through the code for yourself. And of course, trusted by many. In the top right, you can see 9,000 stars, which is essentially 9,000 likes. And that also means that over 9,000 people with GitHub accounts have liked this project. Not everyone who downloads it will have a GitHub account. Never mind, come back to like it. It's trusted by many, many people. On the far right hand side, you'll find releases. Right below it, the latest version. You can either click this or click releases. And on this page, find the latest release by looking for latest. If you click releases, you're able to scroll down and find previous versions as well. Anyways, when you find the latest release, scroll down and look for assets. If it's not expanded, click it to expand it. And right below it, you'll see epsetup.exe. We'll be downloading this. Then when it's done downloading, click it to open it up. If you receive a security error, MS Edge, you'll click the three dots then and show more keep anyway here. In Chrome, it'll simply be keep and in Firefox, something somewhat similar. Click in it to open it up, then click yes. Then your screen will go blank like this and your Explorer will restart. Don't worry about it. Any file browser that you had open will be closed and eventually things will pop up as per usual. If you receive an error, don't worry as things are likely downloading and setting up on your PC. You'll eventually see a pop up in the bottom right. However, as you will have noticed, my start menu has changed. It's back to the Windows 10 version, which I much prefer over Windows 11. If I click the start button in the bottom left, you'll see I have the Windows 11 start menu, which is very odd. On top of this, we also have a properties program, Explorer Patcher here. If you don't see it, you can search for it. Clicking it to open it up, it opens up the properties section for the start bar. This is where things get really cool. We can change back to taskbar style, we'll click it, Windows 11, and restart file explorer in the bottom left to go back to the Windows 11 start bar and start menu. But for me, I'll change it to Windows 10 here. Then on the start menu tab, I'll change the start menu style from 11 to 10, restart file explorer. And just like that, clicking the Windows 10 start button, you'll see the Windows 10 start menu in the center. Position on screen, I'll change it to edge restart. And just like that, we're back to Windows 10 as it's supposed to be. But we do get tons of customization as well. We can change it to rounded edges, such as a Windows 11 experience, which is very odd, but it's Windows 10. It's a cool mix of the two. We can even enable the full screen start menu, which if we restart, looks very weird. As you can see, it's like a Windows 8 slash tablet experience. But for me, I'll definitely leave it at the normal start menu. There's tons of customization in this app. I'm barely scratching the surface, but it's a very cool app that can take Windows 11 back to a Windows 10 experience. Hitting Alt Tab, it brings up the Windows 11 Alt Tab menu. However, we can change it to say Windows 10 and open up maybe Notepad and I've opened Feedback Hub somehow by hitting a key bind, push that across, switch your style, Windows 10. There we go. Let's change it to maybe Windows NT. Alt tab, things look even simpler. What about simple Windows switcher? Seems pretty much like Windows 10, but we have a desktop button as well. Pretty cool. Anyways, there's tons of customization. But regardless, there's tons of different options here that we can use to really customize our Windows experience. So anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.